Can you write an email? In today's career segment tutorial, we will be showing you the proper way to send a follow-up email to your recruiter to follow up after an interview. This will be a key tool in your professional career. To start, we have curated a step-by-step -step outline to assist you. As a part of your heading, you will put your name, your address, the date, the company name, and the company's address of which you applied for. First, greet the recruiter and thank them for their time. Introduce yourself again while mentioning the position and title you interviewed for and the company's name. In this segment, you could personalize it to your liking. However, it will be good to explain the relevant experience and just highlight more of your skills and how that further can sell you for the position and anything that you did not get the chance to mention or would like to further brush upon. In addition to this, it is also good to add in an optional section. This is an additional section where you can write in certain like certification, skills, or experiences that makes you an ideal candidate during your interview. This is an area to write what you didn't get a chance to write about and clear up any misconceptions or points you wish to discuss that you didn't feel you had the chance to speak about in the interview. Next, you have to write your thank you. Thank you for your time, thank you for your attention. The interviewer had to take time out of their day to discuss with you, so thank them for that. Add gratitude. And finally, of course, add your name at the very end. And that's it. Once you've added all this information together, this is what your completed email should look like. Simple when you break it down. Well, thank you for watching this segment. Now, please tune in to our next episode going into how to write an introduction email for those professionals or people that you're trying to get in contact with, whether for a job or for professional advice.